Hey guys, Kevin with On Point Pearl Styles in Gainesville, Georgia. Today we're going to install window tint on the front windshield of this 2020 Toyota Camry. So uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail as far as the outside. It's a lot like doing a rear glass, but we'll put the glass aid on, we'll get the tint set up, we'll get it trimmed out, we'll get it shrunk, and I'll go into more detail about the installation process. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so we've got this far. Uh, you can see it's pretty much the same as doing a back glass. Uh, we've got our glass aid. I got the tint rolled out, rough cut to the shape. Um, biggest thing on a windshield, I guess, is gonna be watching your A-pillars. They can be really close and tight. Uh, so watch the heat on the A-pillar moldings and gaskets. And obviously you got wipers to contend with. This one has a nice bottom area. Uh, I don't have to raise the wipers up or remove them or anything like that. I could shrink to them, but when you get close to the wiper, obviously be mindful of your heat. So anyways, next step, just like a back glass, let's get it shrunk. Now we'll get it cut out. We'll polish up our edges. Fresh blade. Windshield's cut out, um, glass, glass aid is off. So now we're going to polish our edges again, just like we would on a rear glass. Really tighten up the corners. And obviously the edge is where the glass aid was. Tighten those up. Ready to install. <clears throat> All right guys, so we're inside the car now. Um, window tint is still obviously resting on the outside of the glass. Uh, I'm gonna go through a little bit of what to expect on the inside. So I've got my soak rope tucked down on the bottom of the shield. I've already covered the dash with a dash towel. I've got the center console as well. Um, the mirror is not so bad because we've got this big middle box here. Um, so we can leave the mirror on and just kind of tilt it out of our way as we apply the film. Um, I'm in the passenger side of the vehicle. I'm right-handed. 
So I try to do my long reach with my left hand and control the film roll with my right hand. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna clean it. We want to keep keep the water, you know, to a minimum. Um, don't want to go too crazy with it. We're gonna reverse roll this anyways, so we don't need a crazy amount of water. Um, I also try not to use uh, metal blades on glass. We don't have to. Um, so good trick is spray the glass and use your hand to uh, rub around the glass. Um, and kind of concentrate on the high traffic areas where people might touch the glass or around the edges. And if you feel anything that's stuck on, then, you know, that might need to be knocked down, then, you know, use razor blade with caution. Uh, this one feels really clean. This is a 2020 model, so I don't expect anything on it. I did grab me a, a gator blade, so I'm just going to go over the areas that are high traffic. This is a windshield, so I mean, obviously, you want it to be as clean as you can make it. Um, nothing's perfect. We know that in the tent world. Uh, all we can do is make it as, as good as we can. Remember, oil change stickers and all are always put up top in the corner up here. I even saw where his fingerprints were all over it. My guess is he removed an oil change sticker for me. Next thing we got is the famous clay bar. Guys, I'm going to say it in almost every one of my videos. Get you a clay bar. A little bit more water. And then we're going to just clay this. Remember, it's just like doing a back glass. So Spray and squeegee twice for good measure. All right, so uh, same as I would a back glass, turn on mist, spray the air. I'm going to be mindful of the top when you're spraying. Don't let any dirty water run back down onto the film. Same thing to the other side. I unroll inside the car uh, from the driver's side to the passenger side, so I'm going to start rolling on the outside from the passenger side to the driver's side. So when I unroll it, I'm unrolling from the driver's side. So. So we're gonna move back to the inside. I've got my roll here. We're gonna peel it open a bit. Rewet it. All right, windshield's wet. 
prop my seat properly. There we go. So we're unrolling it. You want it to tack to the glass. Keep in mind the weight of the liner is gonna work against you. But you wanna try to get it as close to in position as you can. Coming across the glass. This is a great two-man job, FYI. But when you're by yourself, it does just kind of look a little crazy, a little scary. Biggest thing is get it to the glass quick, but reasonable. Check all your edges. Watch the soak rope. The soak rope in the bottom can work against you on the corners. I mean, take extra time, guys. Make sure that thing's in place, but not too much. You don't want it to start tacking up on you. So it's like a back window, start in the middle. Tack it across. Right now I'm just doing a tack squeegee. Really paying attention to make sure that it hasn't tacked up on me and I'm gonna run over something and create a, a crease. Just tacking it to the glass. And once that's done, everything looks really good. A little hard squeegee. have it guys installed looking good nice and clear I'm gonna wipe all this up clean it up pull the towels out wipe the outside okay so uh, that's how I install a windshield um, it's not the easiest thing to do uh, it can be a challenge you're one person by yourself um, it's a great two-man job but it obviously can be done with great results uh, with one person so uh, TintDepot.com, all the tools and tints you'll need. This is Tint Depot Superior Charcoal. Uh, thanks for watching.